So, uh, how long did it take you to make this? Um, I did a little bit at a time, about about three months. Three months. I usually about like an hour before I go to work, I go into the shop and tinker, sort of get your head on straight for the day to come. Did you make that or did you just buy that? Oh, it's made it's it. made, yeah. <laughs> That, that's really cool. I, I've, been, I've been seeing that every, uh, all day, and it just keeps it keeps me in awe every time. Well, the thing is, is like it's not long. It, 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 the pattern is just random. It's just how people you interact to him that makes it think that he has an actual personality or he's reacting. He's but basically just just random. So what do you have? How did you program him? He's got an Arduino, with a credit card size computer called an Arduino, uh -huh. and it's a it, it, it allows you to work with different sensors or manipulate servos and stuff. The programming is pretty straightforward. You know, a lot, of, a lot of tutorials on uh, YouTube to run with him. But uh, and he's just running a uh, random number generator, and uh, then it start, then uh, it feeds back into a servo position. So he's a, you know, random on top of random. So it was like you know, airplane just and really large, heavy duty airplane servos. Oh, that's really cool. And I saw your sword earlier. Could you uh, pull that out again? Sorry. Okay. Now this. Okay, this oh. is Lucille. Oh, it's Lucille. Yeah. He was a. Uh, this was a. Uh, I bought the wooden training sword at a Ren Fair a few years back, and uh, I just and started working on, but just making it a bit more steampunk. Yeah. It's it like implied that it, it runs a Tesla coil around the edges, which is basically just a drain auger and embossed brass to, to make the blade. That's cool. A cigar box, brass tubing. So this is a character of your own creation. I am um, a. Uh, it, it, it has developed over the years when I first started doing the whole steampunk thing, but right now the uh, the character is Technical Sergeant Claudius Van de Graaff, Chief Engineer, Circle City Aerodrome. Awesome. Which is Circle City Aerodrome is the Indianapolis steampunk group. Okay. Uh, we uh, formed about three years ago, and uh, we were because get the uh, for the longest time, I felt I was the only one. So in the steampunk empire, I formed a group online, and it was just you know we started joining and started building up from there. So now we're starting to we got a pretty good number. We just had our third uh, little ball at the at the Columbia Club, and you know, uh, steampunk and burlesque, and it was like. It's kind of a culture clash to have, you know, you can pretend to be a posh Victorian gentleman on the weekends, but to go to the Columbia Club where they do it all the time, it's just a little bit, you know, you get to realize it yourself, you know, but it was just a beautiful setting, it was the perfect setting for it. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for your time. You enjoy the rest of the con.